Hi everybody, Brad Wiggles here, another video, back to working on the rocket stove idea. So I've been building a uh, internal frame for my wall tent, which is right here. It's a military Arctic Bell tent. And I also wanted to have the rocket stove, and if you've ever watched the other videos, that's what I had in the original intent, was a rocket stove. Okay, a rocket stove that would heat the tent but the big problem is I've got the original uh, military stove however it's not very efficient and it's small so it burns out really fast so kind of my idea was have a rocket stove that had a lot of volume and of course I went through a lot of iterations and playing around but now I've got another idea we're gonna test go inside here and because I started on the barrel, I better get you in here and show you what I did. So I've got a barrel that I burnt the paint off of. Got to finish that. We took the bottom off. I'm going to basically build it into a rocket stove. Just for testing purposes, of course, to see how it works. And if you look at the size of this tent, that stove should keep this whole tent toasty warm in the wintertime. So the idea is have the stove, the barrel sit there and have a feed tube sitting out the front and a feed tube like uh, the uh, burn chamber coming out the front right there and then a feed tube with a piece of um, ducting basically is a feed tube and just fill it full. And then of course the exhaust out the back. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's see how it turns out. This is what I'm going to try first. Basically, I'm going to mount, build a little bracket to hold this 4 inch uh, vent tube up. And I'm going to keep it up quite a bit and want lots of air to get in around the uh, ends of the sticks. And then I'll just form these factory bricks, refractory bricks, with another layer up. So it'll be, you know, this tall. It won't be ideal as far as the calculations go for the for the rocket stove, but it's just going to give you an idea what it's going to look like. And I can't afford to buy a pile of these bricks just for testing. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We'll do uh, we'll do two layers high, so it'll be a little short, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And I've got a five-inch vent adapter for the barrel, and that'll go in. The side at the bottom and then the five inch vent tubing will be the exhaust and that fits in the in the stoves um, vent opening exhaust opening all right let's see if we can put something together okay here's my mock-up I'm thinking uh, I'm just gonna go and test it just the way it is I'll rebuild this just outside would be nice to have four more bricks and I'll have to do something to hold these in place <laughs> maybe just another ring of duct tape for the uh, test burn see what happens and uh, of course the idea is to fill this up with kindling and uh, right now the only air holes is going to be these four corners but I'm thinking I'll have to cut some more air holes in the sides to allow uh, enough oxygen to get in for the rocket's function. But yeah, let's test it and see what happens. So my little test went pretty good. Um, but I've modified the dimensions a little bit. Trying to keep with the uh, 123 philosophy. So the biggest I can go is four inch. So trying to have eight inches from here to here. And then it would be uh, 12 to 16 inches. I'm going to actually go by taking and redesigning that. I can actually go up to here. So I am going to do the vertical two more sections since I have the bricks. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm Like I said, I was just mocking it up. And now I'm going to put it inside the tent with the barrel. I've cut the holes out of the barrel to fit over top. And the vent pipe and give it a test. Okay. The mock-up test is in. That was a heck of a pile of work. 
<laughs> getting those things to stay square definitely easier once I mold it so anyways I'm going to dump that there's vermiculite in that bucket I'm going to dump it around the bottom so that none of that wood can catch on fire because I know if there's ashes fall on it the wood might catch on fire now we got to get the barrel over top and uh, go for light hopefully I don't knock anything over well that wasn't as bad as I thought let's see if we can see inside Looks like everything's intact. Well, let's put the exhaust on and light her up. Well, I just lit it and uh, took off just fine. But I did cheat a little bit with the propane torch to get it going because I didn't have any paper with me. And uh, another cheat, I guess, is the wood is ultra dry. Oh, it sounded like a brick moved. But it certainly takes off right away without issue. The top of the barrel is hot. So let's let it run and see what happens. And of course the intent here is just to test to see if there's enough airflow and uh, if it'll function. Then I can go ahead and uh, permatize the the whole feed and everything so that I can make it a permanent stove but in a way that maybe I could make it semi transportable I guess I don't know we'll see okay there you can just see the GoPro doesn't pick it up very well so we've been running about five minutes and you can just see flames are actually flickering at the top of the uh, top of the stack of of the uh, sorry the bricks. You can see the bricks are about six. Maybe you can't see, but the bricks are about six inches away from the uh, top of the barrel. Okay, so it's the next day. Actually, two days later, and the test went fine. I think anybody who has used a rocket stove or has seen the videos know that they work just fine so that was never really a concern they uh, work just fine but the problem is of course my objective is to have a feed tube so it tried to burn up the feed tube you can see the marking where it was cooking the uh, galvanizing off so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try building a bracket hold it up three inches above the opening so that all the air can come in from around the the wood so yeah let's try that okay so I've made a modification here got some you know legs you can see that on the camera took the top off because I had to move it a little bit and uh, I knocked over a brick or two so I got it set back up so you can see everything is intact and is okay. I'm gonna get the barrel back over top and fire it up again. Okay, I laid some sticks down inside and lit them and stuffed a few into the feed tube. Let's see how she goes. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so what happened was it started burning up the, uh, I'm not surprised either. It started burning up the, uh, the wood right up in here, uh, up into the tube. So what I'm gonna do is go get, I'm gonna go buy three more bricks and I'm gonna put them around here so this is going to now sit up this high because as you probably know the rocket stove requires a bit of a brim or a, you know it's got that first height is right here so the first four inches so I'll do three more bricks and put them in as a ring here and we'll try again okay I just lit it and you can see it took off right away with 
put a few pieces of wood in the opening. So I'm going to fill this up. Okay, now we'll see what happens. So it's burning just fine. The real question is, is it going to get enough air? And is it going to have the velocity to keep the fire from burning back up the wood? So it's been going for about five minutes. And you can see the flames are trying to come up the uh, feed tube there I'm not sure if having a narrower feed tube you know keep the air velocity moving down high enough definitely the flames are just shooting across I can put on my gloves and open a, that little port and see if you can see anything inside. Oh yeah, the flames. Let's see if we can see it on the camera. Oh yeah, you can see it. The flames come up all the way. So, I'll let it burn now and I'll follow up here in 20 minutes or when this feed tube is kind of burnt up. I didn't catch it on camera, but yeah, the heat, the heat basically, oops. Yeah, the heat basically gets up and maybe there's too much restriction of air still, but it starts smoking up in here and then coming out the top of the feed tube. So I'll run it for a while just like this. You know, I think everybody knows that the concept of the wood of the rocket stove is good but me building a feed tube for a classic rocket stove isn't going to work however my intent of doing this was of course the heating the tent up but it's also for um, I have some other projects like I want to have a year-round greenhouse and to do that I don't want to heat it with gas or electric I want to heat it with wood and I'd like to have a way to heat it for long periods of time and this was kind of one of the ideas I had if I could get something to work here then you know late at night you can go out light it it would run for eight hours and get you through all night and heat up the mass and then it would keep the greenhouse warm but that's not gonna work so I've been investigating also pellet stoves and what I'm thinking there is I build a machine that can convert this and not into pellets but into wood chips and then I uh, build a feed system using an auger and uh, probably an Arduino to measure the weight of the wood in the feed hopper. And then you could have like a really large feed hopper and just use the, uh, get a really large feed hopper and just have the auger turn on and off to add more chips to it. Um, the other option is a batch style rocket stove. And uh, there's a guy on the internet, I can't remember his name, but who has done the batch rocket stove and he's got a website and that's kind of the direction I went with my other videos where I was building this big feed box uh, 
what ends up happening is that feed box, the whole feed box becomes fuel and you can have flash ups if you open the door, you could get hurt. So I'm not too keen on that design either. I'm not exactly sure. I know there are people who have the pellet style rocket stoves with feed systems on them that you can close the doors. So that might be pretty much the only option. I'm not 100% uh, sure. But the other aspect is that this is ultra dry wood too. And I, so I'm not sure how much of an effect that has. I don't know the moisture content, but it's been in, inside for two years. And of course, it's dry. But now you can see without the feed on top, it's uh, it doesn't try to come up at all. So it's obviously the restriction of the air up here is just causing it. Now, of course, this four, this is a four and a half inch or four and a quarter inch burn box, and it's the smallest, pretty much as small as you can go. Um, but it's working really good, and it's cooking in here now. It's so warm in here now. I've, even though it's about two degrees C outside, it's uh, uh, even at the back of the tent, it's it's twenty degrees C. So. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll play around with some other designs. And uh, I'm not sure. I'll think about it some more about the batch box versus the a feed system. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and found it informative. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.